Hey, fish friends, how's it going? Uh, I am excited to be making this video today. Um, this is going to be an unboxing of my um, multis that I just uh, received from um, uh, Geiler Aquatics. Um, I had a uh, did some research and was trying to find some shell dwellers and uh, discovered them. And uh, they have a pretty nice operation up in Washington, so I ordered some fish from them. So. Um, this right here that you're looking at is my 16-gallon uh, um, uh, shell dweller tank that I built. You might have seen it uh, in another video where I had um, uh, did, did an unboxing of the S-Cargo shells. Um, this tank has been up and running for a couple of weeks. Um, if you're worried about the nitrogen cycle, um, this was an established tank. With It was actually a long-standing long tank that I've had for a few years. And uh, it was a community tank, and then I rebuilt it to be a shell dweller tank. So um, the filter media, I've got two filters on there. Um, that was uh, kept from the previous tank, and then I threw it in the sump of uh, one of my other tanks to continue to um, house and grow the beneficial bacteria. So um, it's doing well. Um, I've tested the water parameters. Everything looks great, just like it did before. Um, I did uh, do a little uh, dose of a fluval cycle which is the uh, biological booster to um, just add a little bit of biological bit of, uh, bacteria punch there and uh, threw some prime in there as well. Um, anyway, I uh, just um, got the delivery from the uh, Postal Service. Um, so uh, here we go. So here is the box marked uh, very clearly live tropical fish. So I did speak to the postal carrier, it's our local guy, and, and uh, he shared with me that they're very careful when they um, have these boxes. So it was actually sitting up front um, next to the driver's seat and not in the back with all the other packages. So um, I did cut away the label uh, just because it has uh, information on there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open up this box here if I can try to hold the camera and the scissors at the same time. This is actually the first time that I've ordered any fish um, here in San Francisco, California. We're pretty fortunate to uh, have a lot of good quality um, local fish stores available to um, get our fish from. So, but uh, these were a little bit difficult to source. So. Okay, here we have the invoice, um, nice uh, styrofoam box here, Ooh, and I see a lot of movement. We've got uh, fish individually packaged. Um, I ordered eight of them, and uh, let's see what we have here. So they're all in baggies, individually wrapped, there's one doing quite well and then they're separated with some paper towels in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, um, take these out one by one and I'm just gonna set the bag in the tank and uh, let it float for quite a while to uh, get the temperature um, the same between the bag and the tank so I'm not gonna take them out of the bag in this video just gonna go ahead and take that lid off Fish number one. And, uh, there you can see, looks quite uh, lively. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the lights on the tank just to uh, reduce any stress. They've been in the dark for a couple of days uh, through shipping, so um, we'll just make it a little bit easier for them. Here is Fish number two swimming around happily. So I was uh, a little apprehensive about ordering a fish. Um, I know obviously most of the fish in the U.S. are um, shipped from overseas, so obviously they're accustomed to being um, sent that way. But I was still uh, apprehensive. These were actually bred um, by. Um, 
Geiler Aquatics. And we've got a little one here. I don't know if you can see through the bag, but it's, uh, there he is. Don't know if these are males or females. Um, if you're familiar with shell dwellers, apparently they're pretty difficult to sex, especially when they're younger. There's a, another one looking very healthy. I'll go ahead and float that. Now, normally if I were doing this with an established tank, I would, um, these are really beautiful. I would uh, put them in a quarantine tank, but um, because there are no other fish in there, all I've got in this tank are a couple of nearite snails so, and some plants, so I'm not worried about uh, about anything. If I had to treat the tank, I would you know treat, treat all of them together. So um, as they came from the same colony. So um, you know I should have been counting. So let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like they gave me some extras. Um, there's eight, and I'll confirm at the end. Um, here is number nine, Ooh, a little tiny one there. Probably can't see with the, there's nine. And then lastly, will be 10. So I'm happy to report that all 10 came um, alive. There's no slow movers so far. So um, each of the bags has a little, um, I don't know if that's food or there's something in there. Oh, it's actually like a little bit of filter material. It's probably just um, keeping some, uh, I'm guessing it's just to kind of keep some bacteria in, the, in that, uh, in that bag, so um, looks like it's some filter floss or something. But uh, anyway, um, that is all of them. Um, here is it's kind of wrapped in like some uh, insulated packing material. Um, there's no heater in here because this was shipping from Washington State to California, and it is uh, August. Um, it didn't go through any cold areas, although if it was on an airplane, that might have been cold. But, um, you know, no complaints. The, the, the temperature of the box itself feels, you know, normal room temperature, 70 degrees or so. And um, like I said, the fish look all happy, or at least uh, sprightly. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on real quick here just so you can kind of see. But um, I'm really excited to get this con con uh, excuse me, co uh, colony going, and um, hopefully they will be uh, productive, and I'll have some fry going on soon, and um, it's not a huge tank, obviously, so I can't have too many fish. I'll probably end up, you know, giving some away to a local club or something like that, but, but uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and kill the lights again, and... Uh, I will post another video when um, these fish have been uh, acclimated and um, into their tanks, into the tank, and, and then uh, hopefully they do well. So thanks for watching. And uh, again, uh, I got these from Geiler Aquatics, and I've seen some of their uh, other I've seen some other um, videos on YouTube that some customers had had um, comment on commented on their interactions with them. So so far, I'm very pleased. Everything was handled uh, very quickly and delivered as promised. And as I stated, um, I ordered eight. They sent ten, and which is great because they only charged me for eight. And I guess they were accounting for any potential loss during shipping, but there wasn't any. And in the other video that I saw, um, the other customer had a similar experience where he had ordered uh, a certain amount from them, and they had sent them a couple of extra just in case, and everything was alive. So. Shout out to them and uh, thanks very much.